with, considering what I just said, I, I, I want to make sure I kind of get this out the way in terms of a segment of uh, like, because, yeah, we talk about questions that I get asked a lot. And I know that everybody is uh, excited for the new Spider-Man movie. Um, and there is a, a lot of folks that are 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 stoked because of the nostalgia bait, of course. The idea that there is going to be uh, multiple Spider-Men and folks that you have been, you you knew back in the gap. And that was kind of a big selling point of, of what this movie was about. And so one of the questions we've been asked a lot is, okay, this one, you got to review it, right? Because Toby, Andrew, all this shit. And I'm like, nah, it's not going to happen. I have zero tickets to go see this fucking movie. And I'm not interested. Now, this is not me telling you not to see it. You do whatever the hell it is that you want. Um, but I'm not interested. And the reason being is a combination. Now, this I've done a video similar talking about uh, something like the Marvel shows, right? Marvel, uh, like with uh, Loki or the, um, what's the other one? The Captain Falcon, yeah. <laughs> uh, Winter Soldier shit. Uh, Eternals. Shang-Chi. Um, I have not seen any of those movies, and I have not obviously reviewed them. Now, yeah, there's folks that have come to my material for that. Hey, you're coming, but God, I love your analysis of this. They've seen my long-form like reviews that I've done in the past, and some of those are my most viewed videos. Um, and I appreciate that. However, it's the same thing. Uh, nostalgia bait is, does not interest me, uh, especially considering that I think Tom Holland is the worst fucking Spider-Man that we've seen live action wise. And it's not a think it's actually in comparison to who, who Peter Parker is and definitely his interactions with the other characters. Whoever Tom Holland is playing is not Spider-Man. It's some fucking guy swinging around in a red and blue suit. And that's it. Now people might like them, whatever, but he's not Peter Parker. Um, nonetheless, as I've gotten more in depth, with what it is that I do with my own my own stuff, okay? So you guys know, maybe you don't. Very soon, like within the next month, the official launch of of my comic book company will be a thing, right? And I've noticed as I have been world building. As I've been writing me these stories um, and and working like doing the, the the groundwork and laying the foundation for that, and working with my artists and working with my uh, concept artists and and by my team that is here, kind of helping me stay kind of uh, in line here. It's it, it's taking me more and more away from having interest in anything these guys put put out. Now I have. Obviously, I was on that kind of wave anyway because of the direction that the Marvel Cinematic Universe is going. Um, look, I've conceded that they're not making these movies for me. They're not making these movies with me in mind. They're making these movies for normies. They're making these movies for people that know of maybe the characters at best. Some don't know them at all, but they like the idea of superheroes uh, and book readers be damned, right? Right. Um, some of the storylines make no fucking sense. They don't care. Um, so even from a continuity standpoint, not just with books and, and source material adaptation, but even within their own universe, there's a lot of conflicts happening, especially considering the snap. But nonetheless, you know, they, they're not making these movies for me. They're not making them with me in mind. They're making them for normies. And that's, that's the direction they want to go. Uh, we know what they're going to be prioritized. And we've covered so many, aspects of uh victoria alonzo and kevin feige and why the eternals is a thing and what they what they really trying to prioritize here and it ain't comic books it's um what social uh, preferences they can make now hilariously enough the new movie which is gonna uh the new spider-man movie which is gonna just knock it out the park with the box office they're not <laughs> and i don't think they i don't think they'll ever put two or two together because to sell that movie, they're not using their usual tactics uh, that, or their recently adopted tactics of social justice. Uh, uh, look who who's in this movie as far as um, 
check box check and they're not using that and it's going to probably be it's most it's like its highest grossing film uh, uh in a long in a while here um and probably of all time considering that timeline of uh of, of, of events there yet it's going to do what it's going to do by the utilizing not those t- uh, typical tactics that's being adopted by my mo- modern Holly- hollywood excuse me but more so uh the the nostalgia bait and everything yeah, so it's just hilarious uh, why it is that they're they're doing that and they're going to see some success, but don't expect them to put two and two together. Like, oh, well, if you do this, you make more money. I don't think they'll do that. I think they're all in on, on the other things, and it won't be until the pendulum swings back till they get in step. But they don't make movies for me. Um, but it's not just that, and I want to be clear, and I have to be clear, because I don't want folks to think that, well, it's just the fact that he's kind of sour at at the direction of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And some of that has a lot to do with it. Um, but it's not just that it's also in being a creative. And I mentioned this after, um, when something like Shang Chi, you know, while I wasn't going to be covering that, it was the same thing. It was like, and I was at a, at a, I was really deep in, but especially now, you know, it's something, and it's a special feeling to really see a story that, for example, you wrote and you're seeing the, these amazing artists bring it to life. My pencil or my inker, bring that and then my colorist puts the color on it and to see your vision just come to life. It just gets me so stoked and so more enthusiastic about my own stuff. And remember, these are my competitors as well, but it gets me so just amped up and less, the more amped up I get about my own stuff, the less interested I get in their shit, you know? Uh, So it's a combination of a couple of different things. Uh, but that, that's a big part of it, man. I'm at the, I'm at the, I was up till fucking 4 AM last night, actually way past that. Um, last night writing cause I'm in this groove and it's fun. It's fulfilling. Uh, and yeah, it's like, as long as these guys aren't making movies for me in mind, uh, with me in mind, uh, they don't care about source material. They only care about what kind of uh, statement they can make. And they're doing that, and then they're trying to use nostalgia bait because they done had some couple of notable things that were dead on arrival. Uh, I just, I just, that, that, that's not enough to reel me in, right? Um, and, and this is funny because there's a lot of weirdos who, it's a projection, non-comic book reading fucking normies is what they are who act like I had made those videos in the past where I would be very critical of what the Marvel Cinematic Universe is doing. And it was like being some sort of hate. I was some hate tuber, right? And that's the only reason why I was doing those. Again, that's a projection uh, in the sense that they are not knowledgeable on comic books. And because I am and I get to do material based upon that, that really pissed them off. Um, But with that being said, if I was, and that was my approach, and I just want to do views, yeah, I watch it. I give you a bunch of, uh, I give you my reviews and breakdown and all of that. But I'm not doing that, right? It, and it's because I'm genuinely not interested. So many people at Blaze ask me, hey, because they know that I'm the, I'm the comic comic book guy. You got your tickets, and I remember big shout out to my man Jason Butcher asked me because you know he's you know him, him and my him and my uh, we nerd out all the time. And he had asked me, like, you got your tickets. And it really took me a second to, like, what, is, what are you talking about? And then I was like, oh, fuck. I didn't even, I forgot that this movie was uh, coming out uh, this week. You know what I mean? Like, that's how disconnected I am from it. So I just want to do segments like this because I have to remind those that may have missed it when I mentioned it before. Because I know that there are, and I'm, and I, I'm thankful for that, there are people that follow me for my analysis on stuff like this, because it's not just folks that are fellow comic book guys. I would argue most of them and most of the people that are my supporters are normies. And they love to hear that analysis of, okay, how does this compare to what you've read? Because they don't possess that knowledge base and I, and I maybe do. And they like to hear that. And that's been a big part of my audience. I'm not oblivious to that. It's just right now, considering where I'm at in the creative sense, it's a waste of my fucking time. Um, and um, I, I I think it's more conducive for me to uh, drive home the point 
of, of for example, why I'm not interested in this. Um, so like, for example, when I do this video about like Miles Morales and him being Peter Darker uh, with, with, a Jordan, with Jordan ones and Taper Fate, like th that actually helps drive the point home as to why hell I'm doing what it is that I'm doing because these guys clearly don't know how. And also this was a dream of mine and the process got sped up because they suck. <laughs> and also I've gotten so much support over the last years. So uh, that's, that's just want to make that clear. Do not expect any breakdown analysis of new Spider-Man movie or really any recent movie or show that's coming out by way of Marvel or DC. Cause I'm not interested uh, and it's it's the combination of me them not making the shit for me, but also me being so deep into my uh, my own work and my own creative uh, stuff that it is that I'm doing. And I can't wait to finally, we're like without like a month out, to being able to announce, launch, uh, and uh, start this new journey. This is going to be the biggest uh, journey I would argue of anything that I've ever done, uh, music in the political space or whatever. This is big. This is huge for me, and um, I'm taking it serious. And I think some people think I'm fucking playing around. I ain't playing around. I, I ain't playing around at all. So uh, be on the lookout for that, but don't be on the lookout for my Spider-Man review because it's not going to happen. You just watched a clip from my podcast, For Cannon's Sake. Catch us live at 12 p.m. throughout the week over at YouTube.com slash YoungRipper59 and follow us over at Odyssey.com slash at YoungRipper59. If you want to watch the entire video cast after the show is over, just be sure to become a member on the YouTube channel. Of course, the full audio portion of the podcast is available for free on all major digital platforms or just visit ForCanonSake.com.